I'm here with Lewis Cosi, who returns to action September 17th against Trevin Giles. Lewis, how are you? Doing good, man. How about you? I'm good, man. I'm very happy to be talking with you again. Um, 25 days out. How you feeling? I feel good, bro. I feel good. Finally, hopefully get into this time, you know, and scrap. <laughs> I mean, let's talk about that, man. Uh, it was your big return. Um, you were supposed to fight Preston Parsons in April. Um, and then you get COVID. Um so like just talk about like how disappointed were you after like all this all this time all this effort your big return and then boom yeah it, it was stupid <laughs> that was like the first time i caught it yeah and then yeah it kicked my ass pretty good so i didn't know what the hell it was i was just like fuck i feel i like feel a bit sick i was running a fever and i had a covid test laying around and yep fucking stupid <laughs> <laughs> um i mean like how like what what were the emotions like man like you you were so pumped you were so excited and then and then and then it just gets taken from you yeah i was just bummed out you know i didn't want to sit there and like cry around about it though. i was like oh well if god has this in store then i guess it's in store i'll be back sooner than later <laughs> right right i want to be back in august but as soon as i got offered the fight i was like i'll take it yeah I mean, that's, that's that's like my next kind of question was like you got it's five months later why so long uh i don't know to be honest i was trying to get back in there sooner and then nothing really popped up i know they're scheduling pretty far out uh, during the time and then i got offered this one and i said yes immediately <laughs> i mean it, it's it, it's a much bigger fight much tougher opponent um i didn't want to ask man like when you get inside that cage it's going to be two months away from from two Two years off, like two years yeah. off. Um, I mean, are you are you worried at all about ring rust? Like, do you believe in ring rust? Uh, not too much. I'm still young, you know. I mean, yeah, I'm a little nervous, but that's just every fight, you know. Um, you still got to get in there and do the damn thing. Uh, the same thing pretty much fucking happened uh earlier in my career too. Fucking when I was like 21, sorry, at 55. And then for some reason, like some huge hiatus, life came along. You know, I was out for like almost two years. And then I fought like five times in four months. And then fucking then another long one because of COVID, you know. Mm. So, and then I think that one was close to eight months, nine months. This one's longer, but I'm just glad to be back in there. Yeah, man. Well, me too. Uh, we're all excited for you. Uh, let's talk about it. Trevin Giles, man. Um, what do you think of him as an opponent? Uh, he looks tough. He's definitely uh, a lot more experienced when it comes to the UFC. I mean, I think this is like his ninth or tenth fight, you know, so that's a lot more experience than I have. Only got one in there, so it'll be good, though, fighting back at the apex, a little smaller. You know, I have I've experience there, you know, I fought there quite a few couple times. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Um, this is actually his his first fight not being a police officer, so he's training full time. Uh, did, did, did you know that? Uh, huh, I didn't know. I knew. I think I someone was the last last interview I had. I think they were telling me he was a cop. So I I know it's sad and good for him. You know. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, how do you see this fight kind of playing out? Um, I see myself catching him, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's coming off a couple losses. I'm coming off a loss. You know. Um, he's coming off a couple hard knockout losses. Uh, I think 85 was better for him, honestly, in my opinion. I think some of these guys, when they lose in higher divisions, they drop down, think it's going to be better. But it's like, eh, you kind of dehydrating yourself, you know. Right. I really don't cut too much weight for 170, honestly. I was cutting a lot of weight for 55 when I first started. And I bumped up, and I feel a lot better. Like, a lot more hydrated, honestly, a lot more fresh. Um, I think I'm the younger guy. Uh, I'm pretty confident everywhere, honestly, man. I, I feel like he has good boxing. You know, he has good power. Um. Uh, the wrestling, I feel like I have the grappling. I know he's a brown belt, but we'll see, you know. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this is a sleeper, uh, a sleeper fight, and one of you guys is is is, is going to get a performance of the night bonus. I mean, it's, yeah. just, it's just it's just it's just one of those fights. <laughs> yeah, it should be good. That's for sure. Awesome, man. Awesome. Um, well, at the end of the day, September seventeenth. How do you get your hand raised? Well, uh, 
a knockout. <laughs> <laughs> love to hear it, man. I love to hear it. Um, I did want to, I, I did want to talk to you about your brother, Orion. He got his first, uh, first win in the UFC. Um, how excited were you for that? Yeah, that was awesome, bro. Um, I'm glad he won, you know, against a tough guy and stuff. Uh, he comes from a good camp, that guy. But it was, it was good and get that first, but like that second fight of the way he was gone for a little, little bit too, you know, so. I think that only improve him, you know, get better and better, get more experience in there. But I thought overall did good, stuck to the game plan with was the wrestling, you know, looked good. The second round wasn't so good, but other than that, it was all right. I wish he was a little bit more active on top with the punches, you know, but it, it was good. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I was talking with him last time I was talking to him. I was like, both the Coasty brothers love to fucking fight. You guys love to fight. You guys love to be active. And then you guys got – you guys lost your debuts, and then you guys got all this – time between fights like it's just it's crazy yeah i know i'm just fucking hopefully no injuries after this one get right back to it you know stay busy for a while fuck <laughs> hopefully no more surgeries no more stupid shit and just get to it no absolutely man absolutely um well finally um you know not not looking past this uh fight at all but do you want one more fight um before the end uh, before the year ends yeah, absolutely. Fuck if I can fight as many times as I can before the year. <laughs> I gotta get past for uh, through Giles first, you know. He's a tough guy. I gotta make sure I don't take too much damage or anything like that. That's for damn sure, you know. I gotta be on my A game, make sure he doesn't catch me with nothing big. He's gotta be conditioned, you know. Definitely been doing a lot more condition this camp, that's for damn sure. A lot more running this time around. <laughs> but I feel good, man. I feel good. Fucking we'll see how this thing goes and hopefully I can get my hand raised no fucking injuries and get right back to it awesome awesome uh, i like one more thing how's it living in vegas fucking hot right now hot <laughs> <laughs> your summer suck <laughs> yeah that's that's kind of what i was gonna ask you. like how how was living in vegas through your first summer ah fuck it it was hot bro <laughs> i don't recommend it i recommend people move out of this area during the summertime <laughs> Fucking shit. The water's warm. I went to the lake for the first time the other day, and it was piss warm. I was like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Water back up for me is like ice cold, you know. Right. Yeah, no, for sure. No, I, I'm on the same way. I'm moved from California, and just like getting in the pool, it's like warm water. It's like yeah. I'm not used to it. It's not refreshing. It's fucking nasty, man. <laughs> oh, like, nice. Doesn't cool you down nothing. It's like holy shit. <laughs> no, absolutely absolutely awesome man thank you thank you so much man thank you so, so much for your time i really appreciate it um if you want to plug your social media uh plug your sponsors you want to thank anybody the floor is yours yeah uh lewis Cozy 707 uh my team syndicate everybody that's supporting me back in humble miss and love you guys and yeah everybody that's watching oh yeah Make sure to subscribe to the Low Kick MMA YouTube channel for all the latest news, event previews, and interviews with some of the biggest stars in MMA.